Alrighty, hey guys, this is Think Outside the Cube, and here in front of me we do have the 2017 Chevrolet Spark LS. <laughs> now, coming to our window sticker, we'll take a look at the options. As I said, 17 Spark LS automatic. We do have the silver ice metallic exterior with the jet black cloth. We do have the 1.4 liter dual overhead cam four cylinder and automatic transmission. It is a CVT. And we have no options for a total of $14,975. Gas mileage is going to be 30 city and 38 on the highway. Now, they did do um, a redesign for this model. And I've heard it's really not as bad as it used to be. As you can see, we do have a backup camera, even with this being the LS trim level. Look at how thin those tires are. Oh my gosh. They <laughs> You could basically put those on a bicycle. But here we do have the Kumo Solstice tires. These are going to be our 15 inch steel wheels with plastic hubcaps. Black mirrors. But coming up front, it doesn't look terrible. Um, definitely looks better than the previous generation. Both of these are actually unlocked since they're LS models. I don't think they have keyless entry or either they just didn't bother locking them. But coming in, the jet black cloth. The doors are pretty thin as well, but I mean, that's what you can expect. It's all just a chunk of hard plastic here, but the graining's really not terrible. Manual windows, manual mirrors, manual seat, automatic transmission. But nonetheless, storage right here, storage down below there, and we'll go ahead and hop in. Over here to the left of the steering wheel, we do have our automatic headlights, panel dim and traction control off. Um, our blinkers, high beams, menu controls for our center display. That's a small, small speedometer. It really is. Maybe that's just me. We do have our very button speed wipers and rear wiper controls. Oh, <laughs> jamming. We've got, I don't know, is this Chevy MyLink? But it is nice that they do include this. It's a nice system. Definitely a lot easier to the a lot easier to use than on um, previous iterations of other infotainment systems. Down below here, some vents, single zone manual climate controls, force fan speeds, and of course, it's all cord operated so you can hear stuff clunking in the dash, but it's really not that bad. Steering wheel, three spoke urethane wrapped wheel, no cruise control or anything like that. Down below here, USB and aux input, 12 volt outlet. Cup holders, I never like when cup holders are down at my feet just because it's not very convenient when you're driving to reach all the way down here, take your back off the seat and grab it, but I guess that's just me. CVT with a low mode. And then we do have more storage down here. No center armrest or center console, but we do have a driver armrest right here. Glove box, it's not damped. We do have um, a little bit of storage in there, not too much. Manually dimming rearview mirror with OnStar. And then we do have some illumination right up here. Vanity mirror on our sun visors, and they're really, really small as well. This whole car is just really tiny. But um, surprisingly, in the driver's seat, there's I have plenty of room. I'm about 5'9". We'll see how much room there is in the back seat with the front seat set like that. Jet black does carry through back here. As you can see, that seat was probably sit all the way back. My knees are going into the back of the seat, but it's soft, so not, not too bad. Um, plenty of room down there for your feet. And of course, all your door materials do follow through with plastic. <laughs> um, little storage down here since you can't fit a third person in the middle. Um, I don't even think you would want to if you could. Um, cup holder and storage. And then up top, some um, coat hooks. And your passenger does have a cornering handle. But um, that's about it for the rear seat. I'll give you a better look at it when I get out. But really, this will probably just be folded down and used for storage. No one's going to be. You don't buy this car to be hauling around people in the back seat. Is this unlocked? I don't know. Is there a release? No, there's no release. You need the key. But, um... I can't show you the storage because there's a tonneau cover. But of course, there's probably not an abundance of room back there. Your gas cap is right over here on the passenger side, which is a unique touch. And coming over here to this one, it's the exact same, except this one has the splash blue exterior. 
Which, I mean, I, I feel like you would have to go play full with the colors and stuff if you got something this small. Just because, I don't know, I couldn't really take it seriously in like a silver or something like that in an attempt for it to be serious. If that makes sense. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this quick video of a 2017 Spark LS. Um, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video.